Baby, don't check for me. Taking time out to be and live my life off screen. Taking. Hey, y'all. Today is Wednesday. I'm getting ready to post a TikTok of me trying this cream blush that was sent to me by Valletta FR. This is, oh, this is the blush side. This is how it looks. Can y'all see that? It looks so pretty. So I'm gonna do a quick story on Instagram because I told you guys that I would. If you don't follow me on Instagram, you should at I am Sharika B. Um, I have a whole little setup right here. The only thing is I forgot to put my light on the charger last night. So I have the light connected to the charger. Great, it's the whole thing. So I just finished my makeup. I actually need to order some more of the foundation that I use, which is the e.l.f. If you guys know of a different um, makeup foundation that's supposed to be just as good but better quality, um, y'all let me know because I use this little cheap e.l.f. and I'm pretty sure that there's something better out there but I love how thin this is and the coverage is just enough for me and I love the color like it matches my skin complexion so well but they no longer sell it in the store so i have to order it on amazon so if there's a liquid foundation out there that you guys think i would like y'all make sure to leave it in the description box below i do want something that has spf in it because that one has spf and i also want something that's very thin because that one is very thin and I just love it. It keeps my natural look going. My everyday natural makeup vibe that I like. And I want to keep that. But I'm going to go on Amazon today and order some more because I am all out. I usually do order by the bulk. And I'm all out. But thank you to everybody that watched yesterday's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I do plan on doing a living room tour because I did finish the table. The table was actually finished yesterday when I put that video out. Um, I just basically used pieces that I had already. And I did some decorating with mostly table books the greenery that I had in the middle of the table I just placed it in that smaller base and it looks so cute I've always wanted to do like a shorter or a smaller vase on the table but I love the height so much so I never messed around with the shorter ones and I finally did it and I love it and i told y'all that i didn't want anything too tall just because i didn't want it to take away from my little corner with the plants and i love the way that it turned out if you guys didn't notice i did cut the bob a little bit shorter it was actually done on accident because i needed to trim up the back so i put it on a mannequin head and anytime I put my units on the mannequin head and try to cut it, it never turns out right. I don't know what that's about. If you guys do wigs, y'all let me know how I can avoid that because when I try to cut my units on a mannequin head, it's always uneven. So that's what ended up happening. Um, and so I just had to kind of make it work and this is actually my first time putting it on since i cut it so there'll still be a few more pieces but it's really short in the back but i mean it still look cute this is how it looks and hopefully y'all can see it but it still look cute this unit is from Hair Beauty. 
I get a lot of questions about it. Um, I'll be getting some more Bob units this year. So you guys be on the lookout for that. Y'all know this is like my signature hairstyle. Um, my bob, mostly pushed behind my ear is the way that I wear it the most. Or I wear my pull back bun. Those are like my signature hairstyles. And I said for um, this spring, summer, I'm gonna just mostly wear bobs. I'm not gonna really do too many longer hairstyles this year because my bob it just goes with every type of lifestyle so i like that it just goes with all of my outfits and stuff so it's going to either be the bob or the pullback bun so yeah i like that So I'm getting ready to curl this side of my hair. Oh, I've been getting a lot of questions about my ear cuff. Um, I get these from either Target and I have ordered some from Shein, if you guys are interested. But if you go in Target, you can find like the three, or is it three or two? The three in a pack but this is how it looks and sometimes I'll wear I have a, a hole up here is it this here yeah sometimes I'll wear it a little further down and then wear my other earring up here and then one right here and it looks really cute a lot of people love the ear cuff I've been wearing it for a while but yeah that's where I get it from I have a plain gold one Right now, I'm wearing the one with the rhinestones, but I do have a plain gold one. That's the one that I wear the most, but I don't know where it is. It must have came off when I was sleeping or something. I don't know. So I have to find that. But the last time I went in Target, I tried to find another plain gold one and I couldn't. So... You can get them from Target, you can get them from Claire's, Amazon, of course. They all have them. Y'all, I'm still using the soap. This is the second bar, but I'm still using the soap. I haven't really noticed a difference um, as far as like the spot is concerned. So, but it's only been like four days, four or five days. So we're going to give it some time, but she said it was quick. And some of you guys say that you use the spot correcting soap too. Not this brand, but you guys do use a Kojic acid soap. And all of y'all said it worked. So, girl, I'm just waiting. But let me finish this. And then once I get done, once I'm done with the video, because I'm also posted on TikTok because I haven't posted on there in a while. I'm still like on the fence about what type of content I want to post over there because I want to post my home decor, but then I also want to do other stuff too. And so, see how this side look? This side looks shorter than this side, so I have to fix that. But um, I want to do my home decor, but then I also want to do other stuff too. I hate just being tied down to one thing. So I kind of want to stay under the lifestyle umbrella. Um, I know growing on a platform, they want you to kind of stay in a niche but that's really hard for me to do because it's just like i want y'all i want them to get to know my personality too you know so it's been a little struggle for me but we'll get it together i know some of y'all like well they gonna 
they gonna um, delete TikTok anyway, girl. Listen. Somebody gonna buy it in a miracle. He ain't going nowhere no time soon. So I'm gonna still get on it because I do like the app. I am wearing my Skims dress and I totally forgot that I also have a Skims dupe. This is the real, this is the real Skims dress, but I have the dupe version that has the sleeves that I got from Amazon and I completely forgot about that dress. So that's probably the dress I'll put on when I'm doing the quick little video or maybe I'll put it on for the rest of the vlog. We'll just see. So let me do this really quick. Let me bump this part. Let me do this really quick and I might try to pop it in or you guys can follow me on Instagram. Well, it's gonna be on my Instagram story. It's not gonna live on my channel, but it will live on TikTok. So y'all come and check me out. Look, I got a couple of flyaways that let me put this way. I need the clip. All right, let me do this clip really quick. I'll see y'all in here. All right, y'all, I'm done with the video. I'm gonna, I put a little bit of it on my brush cause on the video, I just did it with my fingers, but I really like it. So I'm gonna use it on a black brush. That's cute. <laughs> Let me tell them I'm gonna do another clip. Oh. Hold on. See this hard recording with the back camera. It's not hard, but it's like see I can see myself on It didn't die. It did. It's like girl, we ain't doing that no more. I did update my where's the charge? I did update my um Amazon store because girl, that thing was dated. Okay, I haven't updated it in a while. I usually just tag whatever in my description box, but I've actually updated the storefront. So y'all go check it out. Okay y'all, so because I like it so much, I decided to apply it with my brush. So I put a little bit on brush. I've already put some on my face, but I really like this. This is so, so pretty. I think I did a better job applying it on this side than I did on this side, but how cute. <laughs> Don't y'all just love it? I do. I love it. Y'all let me know some other cream blushes to try because I've been wanting to try cream cream blushes because I love that natural glowy look. And I've been wanting to try cream instead, but I get so nervous. Y'all know how I am about trying this stuff. But, girl, I like this. This is too cute. What's the name of it? The color is Melanie. Melanie. Melanie, like Melanie. Mel <laughs> Melanie Hoax. <laughs> That's it. I forgot to tell them the color of it. 
I'll put it in the next slide. Um, so let's go into the studio because I, well, you know what? I'll bring it to y'all. Y'all don't gotta go. Well, I'm bring it to y'all. Hold on. Okay, so you guys know how much I love my Hermes dupes from Steve Madden. Before they even came on the website, I put a pre-order in months in advance just so I could get my hands on those shoes. So I've had them a little over a year. They're in really good condition still. And I love them. I wear them all the time. So I wanted to buy another pair because I was on Pinterest and I seen this guy. He had the Hermes pair on in the cognac color and i'm like oh those are so cute i hope they got them on steve man went on the website and yes they did have them and yes i did get them look how good this looks the shoe looks identical okay identical they're so cute i love these y'all know that i wanted to buy the actual hermes shoe like this but i decided to try the steve madden pair out to see how much I would wear it, how much I love the style, and I just fell in love with the shoes. So I'm like, there's really no need for me to buy the original ones because these work just fine. But I, this color, I'm gonna get so much wear out of these. They are delicious, okay? This color, So cute. I get a size 10 in these. When I went in Steve Madden to try the shoe on, they had like different colors in the store. They had like the jean, the white. They didn't have the black. They weren't available yet. But I went in to try the shoe on just to see how it would fit. And the nine just felt too snug. So I actually ordered a 10 in these. But they, they just fit perfect for me. So um, depending on like how your foot is, I have a wide foot, so shoes like this, I have to go up a size. So, and I want to say they don't have half sizes, but these look so cute on. I'm going to get so much wear out of these because I already wear my black ones to death and they are in really good condition. Let me show y'all. Y'all know how long I've had those shoes. And shout out to one of you guys because you're the one that told me that these were going on pre-sale whenever they first came out and that's how i got my order in but these are the black ones and like i said i've had these for over a year and look at the condition like the quality is so good and i wear these things almost every day <laughs> if i have on like a chill outfit i slide these on like these are my go-to shoes and i just love them so now i have two pair i went on the website this morning and they actually have some other colors that I want to get. So I said, I'm going to just wait a little while, see if they'll go on sale because those are uh, like $80. So I got to fix my lash because when I look down, it looks like the lash is coming off. I hate that look. I like for my lash to look the right way even when I'm looking down. Especially because, you know, when I'm filming and stuff like that, I don't want the lash to look like it's coming off. Like, y'all see how it looks right now, but if I look down, it just looks like it's not on, but it is. I don't know why it looks like that. I just noticed it on my video that I did for Instagram. Oh, snap. I just noticed it on the video that I did from on Instagram, it just don't look like the eyelashes on. But I do like the eyelashes. These are the ones that I tried from Ardell. They're the false mink lashes, the 817s. Y'all know my favorite Ardell lash was a 106. And then I found the dupes, the cherry blossom at the hair store. And then I would have a hard time finding them when I told y'all about them because y'all would go and buy them up. So I used to buy all of them. I just take all of them out of the store. When the lady ordered them, she would call me. I would come buy them all up. They was only like a dollar and something, but they were the prettiest lashes. One oh, what was the number? I think at the hair store they were 117 or something like that. I can't really remember the number. They don't, they haven't had them in there in a long time. But they look 
um, just like the Ardell 106. But um, these are also my favorite. Like I used to wear these like back in the day. Y'all excuse my deodorant. I used to wear these back in the day. These are the Ardell Wispies. They're so pretty. But I wanted to try these for the first time. And like I said, I have to reapply these because I don't like the way that the strip looks when I look down. It looks like my lash is not on. But let me take my D3. Let's get on our vitamin regimens, ladies. And if you guys haven't, um, you should go get some blood work done just to see, you know, what your body need, what you might need to eliminate out your diet. 2024, we got to take care of ourselves. Y'all know I, I go to the doctor. I get my blood work done. But I want y'all to do the same, okay? So, I have the link to the Black Girl Vitamins in the description box below. They're so delicious. Also, the probiotics that I take. See, so yummy. I take these in the morning. And then I usually take my other vitamins later on in the day. So, these are really good. I also take the hair skin and nails so i'll always have this stuff in the description box below and i also have a code for you guys to use when you order your gummies so we're in walmart and i just purchased two liquid foundations one elf and one from l'oreal so we'll see and i did the return so now I'm thinking about doing some stuff, shells. We vlogging on the phone today. I'm thinking about doing some stuff, shells. But what could I have on the side? Salad. Let's see if they got the jumbo shells. Jumbo shells at all. Oh, there's some right here. Let's see the great value. Let's see the oh, it's the only book I see. Uh, well, I asked the lady, I said, so y'all gonna be charging people to check their stuff out because y'all know that's been going on on TikTok. She's like, I don't know what they talking about on TikTok. She said she hadn't heard anything about that. So, I don't know. Maybe they just not supposed to say nothing just yet. Because y'all know, sometimes they'll keep things on the low until they announce it publicly. And maybe somehow they got out. I'm not sure. They won't be getting my money to check out. I know that. Uh, so, these were the only ones that I was able to find in Walmart the jumbo shells but they don't look that big i could have sworn it was some that was really really big but i cooked them halfway this time because sometimes when i cook them the shell breaks up so i cooked them halfway in hopes that i can cook the cook them the rest of the way in the oven so girl we'll see let me show y'all this really quick i found these in world market yesterday i thought that they were gorgeous i haven't did like the wooden spoon look on my countertops in years um but i saw these yesterday i could not leave these in the store they're so cute and i bought this little half face which i'm still trying to decide on whether i want to spray paint it or not most likely i will and i'm gonna find some more spoons to mix with these and sit them in this half face like that and it's gonna look really cute i haven't decided what i want to do with my countertops just yet i don't like a lot of stuff on my counters but where i keep my coffee machine and the side with my toaster i do put stuff in that area so i'm just gonna just do a little quick little one two over here i just have a few things just sitting over here for right now um but yeah y'all will see it once it's done but these are gorgeous i'll try to find them online so you guys can pick them up and we can be twins and then this is also from world market thought this was really cute 
for the look that I'm doing up here. So yeah, these are old. I got these from Target maybe like four years ago. Um, you may be able to still find them, but I just have my dried lemon and lime, lemon, lime, and oranges in there. These are usually like what I use for like a little spritzer or a little mocktail or something like that. So yeah. I just put those in there. I have them sitting up here because I just used some of them the other day. I put some in my peppermint tea. Okay, y'all. So, this is how the meat looks. I use ground chicken. What is this? I think this is ground turkey. Let me turn on the light. Ground turkey. I cooked it in the pot because that's what I cooked the noodles in. And, girl, I don't feel like washing all these daggone dishes. Okay. So, I cooked it in this pot. I put some green onion and bell pepper because we didn't have white onion. So you got to use what you got to get what you want on period. I'm going to put some sharp cheddar in here. Got to mix that up. So I don't have to worry about it melting completely through. I just like to make sure everything is mixed and tastes well so I do it on the stove and then I put it in the shell. So that's how I do mine. Cream cheese. I forgot to get some ricotta cheese because it tastes good when you make it like a lasagna. I do all of the cream cheese because it tastes really good. Take this and put it all over the bottom of the pan. Okay y'all, so this is what it looks like right now. Remember I told y'all that the shells are not completely cooked. So I'm gonna sit this in the oven for maybe like 20 minutes and then I'll top it with the cheese. All right y'all, here's the shells. It looks so good. Good morning y'all. I am on my way to the gym it is 8 15. i changed my wig i don't work out in my good wigs so i don't really have anything planned for today so we're just gonna see what the day brings i'm going to the gym after the gym i'll probably go home back home shower and Put my good wig back on and see what happens okay we gonna just roll with it okay y'all so obviously i am back from the gym i went to target and i found this outfit that i'm wearing so i gotta step back and show you guys it's so cute so this is it it is a pant set i'm gonna take it to get it altered because it's a lot of material right here y'all know this area right here always has a lot of material on most of my stuff they don't fit properly because i have a really short torso and so i always end up with a lot of material right here but this is so cute i haven't seen anybody talk about this i was just looking through the stuff so i'm not too sure how long this has been around or if you can even find it in your local target but i'll try to look for it online and link it for you guys it's so cute it doesn't have any stretch in it so if you're like me and you're the type of girl that needs a little bit of stretch you will have to go up a size i love like one pieces and stuff like that i think i have a cute little shape for it so i love this but like i said i will be taking it to get it altered so it's not that much material right here but it's so cute so i decided i'll show you guys how i would style it i would bring out my favorite sunglasses y'all haven't seen these in a while but y'all know when i first got these honey i was wearing them out <laughs> I was wearing them out because it just went with everything. I would style this outfit with these. I think they look so cute. Let me stand over here so you guys can kind of see the full. You guys can kind of see the full outfit from head to toe. This is it. Super cute. Let me turn on some light. Super cute. I just love this. It's so cute. This is the only color that I saw, the black, even though 
regardless of what color I would have grabbed the black. And then I would probably take this bag. And yeah, this is how I would style it. And I would do like some little cute sandals or something like that. No heels, cause I would want to be extra comfortable. But how cute is this y'all? And this outfit was $40. Oh, this is by Jenny Lopez. So I'm not too sure when this collaboration came out. Um, but it is the future collection from Target and it was $40. So like I said, I will link it, but it's so cute. <laughs> so I had to show y'all that real quick. So I'm getting ready to show Instagram and then change my clothes and maybe we'll go drop this off because I wanna get it altered as soon as I can so it could fit me perfect. I still want it to look baggy at the bottom because y'all know I love that and I just wanna take some of the material from the front. So yeah, Miss Lola, I'm on my way. Yeah, look what came in the mail. The shoes. We're opening them together. I haven't seen them yet. It's how they look. And these are the ones that they refunded, but I told y'all they'll show up a week later. I don't understand this stuff. Okay, here they are. So these are the ones that's like, um, the ones that the girl showed by me, Chanel, the one she showed on her channel. I forgot the name, or not her channel, her um, Instagram. I forgot the name of the real brand, or not the real brand, but the designer brand. And she showed a dupe pair from Jeffrey Campbell. I bought some other sheer sandals too. They'll be here soon. These are cute. I like them. And this time I got a nine. So I got my true size this time. Y'all can't see them. I'm gonna hold the camera down. That's the light. Let me. Can y'all see that? I don't have, let me both them. I like these. I'm gonna rock these babies, okay? Okay, look, and I will always wear them. I will always wear them with like, um, some type of pants. I don't think I would ever wear them like showing like this. I will always wear them with some long pants over them. But I like them. I do. Yep, oh, y'all can't see. <laughs> I do. I really like these. They're so comfortable, of course. This is how they look in the back. And I would say that they are true to size. So yeah. I like them. Um, I came home and I warmed myself up some tea. Forgot the teapot was on, burnt my teapot up. So I have to have the door open because it smells, it don't smell bad in here, but you could, I wouldn't say you could even tell that something burnt because it kind of, it's kind of giving off like a, burnt lavender type smell so it's very weird but girl i ruined my teapot so <laughs> look at this this is how my teapot looks i'm glad it didn't pop look at the bottom <laughs> and i was in where i market yesterday because y'all remember my big one like this that's just straight up clear that one broke and then I found this cute little small one in Home Goods. I started to get that other one because I really like that one. 
um but that gives me a reason to go get the one that i really wanted the original one that i had that broke on me but girl let's see i'm gonna take this shoe off and they have different colors like you could get red beige black of course i'm gonna get black um I like these. I really do. Are y'all into the ballet flat trend? Y'all remember I showed y'all in when I went to Virginia, the ones with the bow. I really like those, but Tony taught me out of it. But I like these. Y'all let me know what you think. But And I'm going to take a picture of these and put them on Instagram real quick. Because I like them. And I got one more thing I need to show y'all from Amazon. This is how the sole looks really hard. I like these. <laughs> I like them. Okay. Now let me show y'all this other thing that I got from Amazon. Let me turn y'all around. Turn y'all around so y'all won't feel left out. Y'all know I love the natural woods and things like that, but this is not just any natural wood piece, okay? This is a very special piece. Are y'all ready? Come, come closer, come. Come on, come on over here. Okay. So y'all see the wood, okay, hold on. Are y'all ready? <laughs> Girl, stop playing with them, Riley. Girl, look. Girl, this is a wine holder. Stop playing with me. wine holder who you know because girl i'll wait <laughs> this is so cute this is like a empty bottle but girl mm. girl a little piece came off the side but hi hi guys <laughs> girl this is too good okay i'll link it in the description box for you I sure will. But that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed hanging out with me. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram. I am Sharika B. And I'll see you guys on the next one.